Moving on, the ECOWAS Parliament has approved Nigeria's decision to close its borders to imported goods and rice from foreign countries. This followed a heated debate at Parliament after parliamentarians from West African states accused Nigeria of being insensitive to the plights of its neighbors. ECOWAS parliamentarians from Nigeria urged fellow nations to be considerate and shun uh, from allowing vested interests sabotage the nation's economy. Our correspondent Amadin Uyi reports. The day commenced with several countries giving their country report to members of the ECOWAS parliament. Many of them accused Nigeria of bringing on the economic hardship as the nation's borders remain closed. This, they say, is a breach of the ECOWAS protocol on free movement of persons and goods within the sub-region. This, however, did not go down well with lawmakers from Nigeria. We have a protocol. The protocol is very clear. No country in the Equus sub region is allowed to export into another country what it does not produce. Meaning, by our own actions, we want to be self sufficient, we do not want to be dumping grounds, we want to encourage production. And we cannot be subservient any longer at this time to what they call the superpowers of the nation, of the world. They will produce, have it still for a very long period of time. After a while, they use our conduit to take to our own countries. This is not accepted in Nigeria. And I believe, as good citizens and MPs, we should encourage our people to be productive. The population we have in this country should not just be a number in size, but a number that can be helpful to the nation of Africa and to the world. Mr. Speaker, respected colleagues, I want to beg of you to bring understanding to this matter. ETLS is what binds the across countries together. We grow indigenous foods, we grow manufacturing indigenous, and then we dump, dump goods that we import from foreign countries. I have said it, that today in, in, in the world, the Republic is the sixth largest importer of rice in the world. And the Republic have just 11 million people. So where, this, where, where, are these, where is the rice going to? The rice is obviously coming to Nigeria. If it was only rice, we could even understand. Mm -hmm. But that rice comes with arms. Boko Haram through Niger, the other American who is from uh, Bere, everybody is getting arms from there. So we cannot fold our arms and see Nigeria destroyed. We cannot fold our arms and see agriculture in Nigeria destroyed. Agriculture is the largest employer of labor in Nigeria. Over 75% of Nigerians are in, are, are, are in agriculture. More than 50% of Nigerians live in rural areas. Now, if you grow your agriculture, it means that you are creating jobs for the jobless Nigerians. The more you allow rice to come into Nigeria, you are empowering Thailand, you are empowering Indonesia, Malaysia, China, and countries, and Vietnam, and the countries that are in the world. We cannot go to that, and that's why we are here. Honorable Ibrahim Sadiq, a Nigerian parliamentarian, called member states to be considerate, highlighting the dangers of a disintegrated Nigeria, saying smuggling through the nation's borders has affected Nigeria immensely. My first deputy speaker has rightly pointed out, we must be our brother's keepers. We must be our sister's keepers. There cannot be peace without justice. There cannot be development without peace. And God forbid, if this country, Nigeria, should go to war, there is no country in West Africa that can take us to drink even their water. Drinking water will be a thing of a serious problem in West Africa. So, as rightly pointed out, I wouldn't want to take, us, take much of our time because this issue is clear. We don't need to be sentimental about it. Let me tell you, Mr. Speaker, Nigeria is not the only country that first closed its border in Africa because of insecurity. The first Deputy Speaker of the ECOWAS Parliament, Honorable Idris Wasi, added that the border closure has helped reduce the smuggling of small arms and light weapons. From the day we closed this border, I want to say and confirm to the world that even the insurgents, so-called insurgents, have now been extinct. It has stopped. Because the same border 
is where the massive arms are coming through. Yet we have customs. They will package rice in the, uh, on the top. Inside it, they will put arms and bring it to a country. No country will, su will support that. The parliamentarians approved Nigeria's decision, bringing an end to a blame game between member states. Amadin Uyi, Plus TV Africa.